an earlier video discussed how you handle numeric vectors and this video is going to look at vector diagrams and vector geometry. Just to remind you, a vector is a quantity which has size and direction. So a vector is just generally a line segment with an arrow on that has a certain length and a direction. Two sorts of notations are used when you are dealing with vectors. One is just a little letter underlined, although in your textbook they don't underline, they use a bold letter. Or alternatively, you can use the, the capital letters at the beginning and the end of the vector and you describe it as the vector AB, but you put a line over the top of the AB to show which direction you are going in because the direction matters. So the vector I have drawn could either be called little a underlined or the vector AB. Vectors are defined as being equal if they are parallel to each other and they both point in the same direction. So if I draw another line anywhere on the page parallel to my original line, this one can still be called the vector A. It has to be in the same direction and it has to be parallel. They are the two conditions for vectors to be equal. If you have a parallel line which is the same length but going in the opposite direction, then that's the vector minus A. So equal vectors, parallel, same length, same direction. If they go in a different direction, then it's the negative of the original vector. Sometimes you're just asked to draw two or three vectors added together. So quite randomly, you could have a vector called P and another vector which looks like that called Q. And they might ask you to draw the vector P plus Q. Now, all you do for that, simply draw the vector P. So make sure it's parallel to and the same length as the first one. And then where you stop with that vector, you start with the vector Q. So my vector Q just comes down like that. And the vector P plus Q is the beginning of P to the end of Q. And conventionally, you do it with a double arrow to show that that's your result, but don't worry too much about that. So to add two vectors together, you start the second vector where the first vector stops.